What's good, sneaker fan? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, we are continuing on with the Copper Drop series. And today, we do have four shoes instead of the normal three. And to start off, we do have the Adidas Uncaged Ultra Boost collaboration with Parley, which if you guys don't know, it is like an ocean organization. And Adidas is collabing with them to make this shoe. For the most part, this shoe is all prime knit on the uppers. And then you do have your Ultra Boost on the midsole and then on the sole you do have your 2.0 sole and that's really all the shoe is and it does have its laces of course for the uncaged version and it is all white and then it has like some baby blue on the heel with some stitching as you guys can see this shoe is going for a retail of $200 but I already see one pair on go going for $2,000 which is pretty expensive and if you're looking to get your pair you could get them November 15th on adidas.com I'm not sure what other websites are releasing them but you could check on soulings.com for that information next shoe we do have Another Ultra Boost, except it's not an uncaged, it's the caged version, and it is a base green. To me, it looks like olive, in my opinion, but I don't know why they have it called as base green here. The upper is built of an olive color, and then the heel counter is black, and then you have the Ultra in silver, and then the Boost in gold. And then you do, again, have the midsole as your Ultra Boost, and then the sole is your 2.0 outsole. This shoe is going for $180, like all Ultra Boost. You can get these on November 17th off of Adidas.com. And if you guys, like I said, want to find other websites that are selling them, go ahead and check out soullinks.com for all other websites. Moving on to the next Ultra Boost, it is the Adidas Ultra Boost in the clear onyx colorway. And this color is basically like a mixture of white and gray, more like off-white if anything. The only white part is the Ultra Boost. And then you do have your uppers, which is a primate uppers, as well as your cage. It is like an off-white with a grayish color, like I already said. Your heel counter is black, and then you have the silver ultra, and then the gold boost again. And then your 2.0 outsole again. This shoe, you can get it November 17th, as well as the base green colorway. They are going for $180 off Adidas.com. Last but not least, we do have an NMD. It is the Adidas NMD collab with Packers shoes, I'm pretty sure. A lot of you already know what shoe this is. A lot of people have been hyping this shoe up. This shoe has a really weird colorway. It doesn't match in my opinion. You do have like a dark blue, light blue, red, then navy blue, and then white and black. It's just too many colors all at once. Why, I don't know. I'm not too familiar with Packers shoes, which is the name of the company. But what I do like is that it is a prime knit shoe. I love prime knit NMD, especially because they're really comfortable. In my opinion, they're the most comfortable NMD out of all of them. So you can get this shoe November 19th, which is this Saturday. And you can buy these shoes November 12th, which was two days ago, off PackerShoes.com. But on Saturday, they are releasing all other Adidas Consortium retailers for the price of $180. So for the Adidas collab with Parley, it is a cop for me just because it is a collector's shoe, in my opinion, since it's like it's only going to drop once in a lifetime. As for the base green Ultra Boost dropping, it is a drop because it just it's just like a general release, in my opinion. And I really don't like olive. I don't have anything to wear with it. At least this colorway isn't really catching my attention. And then again, for the clear onyx colorway of the Ultra Boost, I am giving it a drop just because it doesn't catch my attention again. I already have the three Ultra Boosts that I really want in my collection. And last but not least, the Adidas NMD collab with Packers Shoes is a cop for me just because it is a collector's shoe. Again, this shoe will only be dropping once in a lifetime, and it's very rare. And I see the price is already going for like $500 and up. I mean, I don't know if I would sell it or not, because I would love to keep this in my collection since it, since it is a rare shoe, but it is a must cop for me. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year, which is less than two months from now. So I just need about 200 more, and I'll be happy. We'll all be happy. It's like we all accomplished something. It's another milestone for all of us. It's your boy, Sneakers. Make sure you stay woke. Our Sneakers signing out. Peace.